morning guys how are we all doing i hope you're all well welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am getting ready this morning for a very exciting day we are heading over to the pumpkin patch well to be honest with you i'm just gonna see where this vlog goes because i don't know if the weather's gonna hold out if i'm being brutally honest which is a shame, but we avoided it at the weekend. I always try and avoid going to the pumpkin patch at the weekend or doing any kind of, because we want to go to the Holly's farm shop as well whilst we're over that way. We go to Delamere pumpkin patch, which is only small, but it's kind of like en route to Delamere forest where we can take Barney for a really nice long walk. So that is the plan for today. So I am going to pop my walking gear in the car as well, but first port of call is the Honey's Farm Shop, which if you don't already know, is local to Manchester. It's about 30 minutes away. And it's got a great display for Halloween and this kind of time of the year. They also have like some Christmas bits out, which they might already have. Having said that, I remember going to the pumpkin patch slightly later in October last year. And I remember when we went to the Holly's Farm Shop, they were only just sort of putting out their Christmas bits. It wasn't full Christmas. So they might have some bits, we'll see. And then I remember last year we went as well for the first time, we also discovered just down the road, literally just down the road from the Hollies, there's a place called Reclamation World, I think it's called, which is kind of like an antiques place. It's one of those that I'm imagining there's still probably a lot of the same sort of stuff even a year on, but always worth a browse. So whilst we're there, we're just going to have a couple of few quick pit stops. The Holly's Farm Shop, Reclamation World, Pumpkin Patch, nice long dog walk, and then back for cosy afternoon because it is going to be rainy, I think, all afternoon. So I want to get my Dunelm Delivering Joy gift bags ready. I think I've got everything now ready for that. So I'll show you those once I've packaged them up so that if any of you guys are doing it as well, maybe to be able to get some kind of like gift ideas for that. And um, what else? I'll carry on with my little jigsaw this afternoon. We want to watch, Tom's been away and I've been saving the movie, the Platform 2 movie on Netflix, which is kind of like a bit of a horror thriller, I wanna say. Horror in that it's quite gruesome, so I have to do that quite a lot. <laughs> but um, it's, it's not like, it's not very jumpy and scary, I don't think, anyway. I remember watching the platform last year, so we're gonna watch the platform again, have a bit of a back-to-back, 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 and then watch the second one that they've just uploaded to Netflix straight afterwards. I'm just gonna get, actually, just one second, I've just thought about what blusher to use. I remembered, I got sent these from Jones Road. Now, I've never tried anything from this brand. If I'm being honest, I hadn't even really heard of this brand, but when I shared it on my stories, that they sent me a little PR package with a couple of bits in, lots of you guys said, oh, I'm excited to see what you think of the Miracle Balm, of which they've sent me two shades in. So I thought, well, you know what? If there's a few of you out there that are already big fans, I thought I would give it a try. So this one is in the shade Dusty Rose. And I'm assuming it's gonna be like a bit of a balm texture, which you can kind of just use the warmth of your fingers to add as a bit of blush. This one is called Flushed. Oh, which one do I go with here? I feel like I wanna go with a Flushed. This one's a really nice, more bronzy shade, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely a balm. Oh, quite sheer though. Let's just add a little bit and we can always build, can't we? Oh yeah, I feel like I need a bit more than that. I think because it's a balm, it's gonna add a really nice sheen. So add it kind of to the high points. Oh, I wouldn't say the color is that strong. I'm really trying to get as much as I can out here. Hmm. I almost feel like I need to go in with one of my blushes first. This may be buildable. I think, yeah, like I was saying, because it's a balm texture, it will add, yeah, it definitely adds a really nice sheen to the skin. But I almost feel like I need a blusher first for color. This is definitely not the most pigmented, but like I said, can you see the sheen on my skin? 
Miracle Balm. Let me try and pop a bit of blush on top of that. I should have in hindsight, now I know what that's like, gone in with a blush first. We'll add a bit of the Rare Be Beauty blush in Hope, which is a really pretty kind of iridescent shade. Can you see it's a bit pearl? Oh, that's the wrong brush. Can you hear Tom on the face so loud? <laughs> yeah, definitely should have put on this before because now going on to a balm texture, it's going to be a bit patchier, I feel. Oh, well, I feel like... I've saved it a little bit. Barney's whimpering because usually I'm straight out the door with him for a walk rather than getting ready or anything like that. I usually like get showered and make up and everything afterwards. We literally get straight out of bed and straight on a walk. But because we're going to Delamere Forest today, I figured he can wait a couple of hours. <laughs> but it's so funny how when dogs are in a routine, and that routine switched up, they tell you about it. It's just not enough pigmentation for them. I'm gonna give them another go with blush underneath first before I rule them out completely. But I think because I'm so used to a more heavier blush, I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury palette here and I go in with this one, my crease, sometimes a little bit of this shimmery one on the lid and brow bone. Um, my eyes ever look a little bit shimmery it's either that or i've popped on the charlotte tilbury highlight wand which i'll do anyway and i usually take it up on my brow bone as well as the um my nose and my cheekbones so i'm gonna be wearing a cap i think because my hair kind of needs a wash i was like do i wash it and style it for some cute pumpkin patch pictures or if we're potentially gonna get not rained off but rained on <laughs> then play it safe with a cap and wash it later on, which is what I think I'm leaning towards. Well, it's not what I'm leaning towards, it's what I'm doing, I'm committed now, because I'm putting my makeup on. Anyway, I feel like, oh, I'll show you quickly just this highlight from Charlotte Tilbury, and then I'm gonna carry on getting ready for the rest of the day. I'm trying to talk loud over Tom on the phone, because he is making a racket, ruckus, a racket down there. Usually go over my cupid's bow as well, and, Dab it in again with my fingers. But I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup, then we'll get on the road in a couple of hours and we'll head off to the Holly's Farm Shop for a very cute, wholesome autumn day. My favourite time of the year. As you can kind of see the roof, how we've had the kind of edging um, stone popped on and obviously the green roof, it obviously needs to take a little bit. It's gonna grow quite a bit more than that, so I'll have to keep you updated on the progress we just need the building to be rendered which i think is happening within the next couple of days hopefully i mean again weather dependent it's got to be dry for that but yeah we have green on the roof saw the light go down on baker street don't know exactly where she wants to meet the last cigarette broken fall We have had a mare, so basically Tom had a work call to take when we got here. So I said, you just, you go do your call in the cafe. I'll have a walk around, a little mooch in the shop and have a look. Came to the cafe after I'd done, I couldn't find him anywhere. And then we kind of crossed paths and I was like, oh, I've been looking for you. He says, I've been calling you, no signal. I said, oh, well, I messaged you. I bought us chicken pie. He said, I bought us chicken pie. <laughs> I bought us veg. I bought us veg. What veg? Carrots, broccoli. I've got carrots and broccoli. So we've got a double dinner tonight. Um, and I did think about getting us some sausage rolls for lunch, but thought, no, I'll just check what Tom wants. And thankfully I didn't because actually 
Tom bought us some sausage rolls. We're done. We're done at the pumpkin patch. We've got our pumpkins in tow. They're a bit dirty. I was saying, I remember going to one a couple of years ago where they had a bit of a station where you could brush off the pumpkins or wash them off, which I thought was really good just before you pop them in your car. Um, there's a fly in here. <laughs> Can you get out. There we go. It's gone. Right, so now we're off to Delamere Forest. We've been there once before for a nice walk, a long dog walk. And actually, fingers crossed I don't want to speak too soon, but the rain is holding off. So, did you hear Barney just burp then? <laughs> he did it proper. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, now we're gonna go for a nice dog walk. I'm not sure what my, my hair's got messier and messier as it's gone on. Even you said that's a very messy bun. Very messy, but easier than washing it and styling it this morning. Right, Delamere Forest. Let's tap it in, because I'm not quite sure where we're going. A mile away, less than a mile. Perfect. Five northwest on Station Road Two minutes. one tenth of a mile. This time I am pretty sure Moments passing away I've never seen before You held me out of the dark I always wonder if you were left without a mark Did you ever let go? Did you ever not know? You were never Back home. We didn't get rained on, which I did predict that we would this morning. But it's day dry, although my hair still needs a wash, so. How funny that Tom and I both picked up a chicken pie. So we're gonna have to freeze one, I think, because we're not gonna get through both of them within a few days. So we'll freeze one, um, have another one tonight, and then for veggies to go with it, I just picked up some tender stem broccoli, which, Tom also picked up. And then Tom got some parsnips, which I didn't. So we're gonna have parsnips mixed with the carrots. So that should be lovely. But I also got us these for dessert. How nice do they look? Little boot cookies. Why am I a sucker for like Halloween-y stuff? I love it. And then I also saw this, these biscuits, which I thought would be quite nice with the coffee. I had them filled with Nutella. And then these ones are filled with white chocolate filling. I also got these that they had at 19 pounds, set of Sophie Allport, set of four napkins. Although I have to admit, when I picked this up and bought it, I thought it was tea towels. And I thought, a set of four tea towels, that's pretty good. But they are napkins. But to be fair, I have Halloween-y, pumpkin-y, what am I trying to say? Um, kitchen towels. So I think napkins will make a change. They've got little white pumpkins, regular pumpkins, and they've even got a couple of little black cats on them as well so yeah i love that design they had them in aprons as well um is there anything else to show you i did pick up some bits for my gift guides as well and then i did get home to a little parcel so let's open up this i'm not sure what it is okay i am going to show you this 
but I may also include it as a good little stocking filler idea or something like that within my gift guide, we'll see. Um, but, my address is on there. I've got a little envelope from By Matter, which is, oh, By Matter. Why does this smell so good? By Matter is pleased to share with Miss Freya Farrington the exclusive launch of Closet Guardian. I've seen online that they brought out this new product and I, I was gonna buy it anyway, just to try out and maybe include within a gift guide if I liked it. But the fact that they've sent me one, so exciting. Closet Guardian, a next generation moth repellent powered by bioactive fragrance technology. How to use? Let me actually show you the item itself. Oh my God, it smells amazing already. So you spray the ceramic medallion with the recharge spray and you can respray it to ensure the bioactive technology remains effective. So this is how it comes. You get the ceramic here. You just hang this up in your wardrobe or wherever. Like I can already smell it, it smells amazing. Amazing. Place it across your closet in a drawer or on a hanger. The last thing you want to do is put your clothes away in storage and then get them out and they've all been eaten by moths. Yeah, here we go. It's estimated that one to two million tons of clothing are thrown away annually due to moth and insect damage. Plans this afternoon. I actually have a bit of work that I need to get done. So I'm going to get on with that. And then I've got my jigsaw puzzle, which I started. If you remember from, I think it was my previous video, this autumn equinox one that I picked up. I'll leave it linked below, but um, just a little wholesome activity that I've been enjoying doing. I've done the border already, so I need to start doing all of the kind of middle pieces. And we've got movie night tonight with the platform and platform two. There's also another movie that's on Netflix that I really like the look of, so we might give that a watch at some point. But otherwise, a bit of work this afternoon, and then I'll show you guys our dinner once we make our chicken pie. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I'm already really looking forward to it. I'm thinking an early dinner tonight, so it's half three well just gone half three and i said to tom should we aim to eat for like half four or five so we'll see how long this pie takes actually 35 minutes well 25 to 35 minutes just heating it up so yeah we'll probably have dinner in about an hour or so and then we've got some yummy desserts for tonight as well so i'd also show you my pumpkins on the porch could do with giving it a bit of a clean a bit of a brush up i am going to do some proper kind of halloweeny decorations probably in my next vlog actually i'm probably going to do that tomorrow so stay tuned for that i obviously need to brush them off and clean them but i'm just thinking positioning wise this might be where they are so we've got a huge white one and then i love the shape of this one proper like pumpkin but in that kind of like pastel orange a couple of um medium and small white ones and then a tiny little baby perfect pumpkin i mean that is just like the perfect pumpkin isn't it and it's tiny it's a baby no, it's not a toy. It's not a toy. I also think in my next video, I'll show you, but I think I'm gonna switch this autumn swag out for, I've got a pumpkin wreath with white pumpkins on that will go with the white pumpkins that I've got on the floor. I think I might give this away because I don't think we're gonna use it again or we'll put it in somewhere else in the house maybe, but it sits really awkwardly on the knocker so it doesn't sort of like stay central. It kind of goes to one side, which bugs me a little bit plus. It's quite handy having access to this, um, not door knocker, sorry, door um, pull. The knocker's up here. Um, but yeah, so I might switch that out. In fact, I'm, I probably will switch that out with my Halloween additions that I will add in my next video. Do you think there's a chance for this love to be real? I will let you take the everything organized for my Danelm delivering joy um tags that I've been buying a few bits for so I've just kind of like laid out the bags I'm pretty sure this sizing wise is going to be okay so um yeah we've got one here well I might have to switch them around actually so I'll show you those in a sec but in terms of where I've got these from, the bags are from B&M and the sacks were all home scents. I think from last year I got these. I thought I might as well repurpose and reuse them, especially with the, the boys bits because I've got some like 
chunkier items, I feel like he'll need a bigger sack. And then also the female with candles, bath sets, shower sets, and smellies. Like products are quite heavy, so I thought I'd put them in a sack as well. So I'll start with this uh, female 70 years. So a lot of these bits, especially for the two female ones, are kind of like excess PR bits and unopened um, things. So they've got quite... <laughs> quite the selection of items. So I've again included some room fragrance for this one, but I've also just thrown in a few beauty bits as well. Um, and yeah, love these little wax melts. So I got her a wax melt burner with a set and then you get a few extras as well that I've thrown in and the Edited Life mint wax melts. And then some Rituals hand products, some room spray from The White Company, a little hand sanitizer and hand lotion, body lotion and another candle as well. This is a lovely brand, Fine Sense. And then for the food bits, I realised actually, I don't think it's for dogs, I think it's just for cat stuff. So I just got a couple of Harrington's bits and some treats in there as well. For the male who is 83, who wants Smellies and Gardening, I got a um like a body set i've got him a little candle um some body creams and sanitizers little gardening hand soap um some root stuff i don't know um a load of gardening magazines and also a brush and just a little mini um fragrance as well and then the magazines that i went for i went for the ones that have a few seeds on so that you can use the seed packets if you want to a little uh, annual like guide thing like a little book and then also I got a calendar um, it's kind of pretty but he's into gardening so I'm sure he'll appreciate all the flowers for the boys hamper this one is a boy seven to eight now it says seven to eight but I'm just thinking just in case he is uh, like a bigger seven to eight or like with growing room i've got two sets of pajamas one seven to eight but then also one aged eight to nine some socks that he's asked for some slippers and also got him one of the hoodies and um, the marvel one and then just a little like stationary set as well and then over here we've got lastly again another female but there's no age on this one shower sets smellies candles bath sets so we've got some like bath salts and uh, moisturizers set from L'Occitane another candle two candles and um, some more skincare bits and yeah so hopefully that will give you a few suggestions and ideas on maybe what you could pop within a Danelm bag if you're doing one as well and we have it all packed up ready to go also just one thing to know I haven't wrapped any of the presents I've literally just for the bags I've just popped some tissue paper on top because I think they might want to like just check what's in them and health and safety and everything so yeah I haven't wrapped them um but yeah all ready to go back to Danelm and just such a lovely thing to do such a great idea that I am all for so thanks to Danelm for facilitating this for us because I just think it's the most wholesome giving attitude type of activity that you could be doing at Christmas to give back I just think it's so nice so yeah probably take these back to Dunelm next time I go in a couple of days or something um, I'm not gonna go today but I'll just pop these to one side and I just thought I would show you for any kind of like suggestions and ideas that maybe if you want to do it yourself as well Good evening. We have just had the yummiest pie ever. It was so delicious. I actually really recommend that one. It was a chicken one that we went for. I have a bit of a clean up job to do uh, now. One dishwasher is on and I need to do the rest of the pots in the sink and sort out the table as well. Need to sort that out. But yeah, 
I thought I would close off the vlog here guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this cozy autumn day. I might just have a quick bite of the cookies that I got as just as a little taste test of those because feeling like something sweet. Yeah, we have a bit of a clean up job here today. Realize as well, they're called churro boo cookies. I'm thinking they might be a little bit cinnamony, maybe. I'm gonna have the white chocolate one. And Tom has the other one. Let's just try a bit without the white chocolate, maybe. It looks like Nutella on top. Wow. Yeah, they're like sprinkled with like a cinnamon sugar dusting. Mm, right then. We'll definitely get them again. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. From us. <laughs> he is so sleepy. Have a lovely rest of your day. Oh, there he is. He wants to say goodbye now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.